see the additional information from the neutron that's shown here in green. The one thing that we always hear, are you a nuclear engineer? Wow, you must be a genius. Well, guess what? Uh, we do have the smartest and brightest in our program, and the reason is because you need to be well aware on mechanical issues as well as radiation issues as well as quantum physics. So our students are probably the most diversely educated students. Nuclear and radiological engineering students have to deal with the challenge of not being able to see what they're dealing with. So we have to prepare them and they have to be ready to face any challenge. We mainly focused on dealing with radiation. So that can be a nuclear reactor or a linear accelerator for medical purposes. It can be a shielding problem. We can talk about nuclear fuel cycle. Any kind of policy related to nuclear issues we'll cover it in our department. I'm becoming a nuclear engineer because I think it's an absolute terrific source of energy to solve all of our energy crises. It's such a clean source of energy and such a reliable source of energy, but it's also extremely cheap. One of the most unique aspects of being a nuclear and radiological engineer is the facilities that we have here. There are multiple machines that we have here that are unique to Georgia Tech. For example, Varian Linear Accelerator, the CLINAC that we have, is unique to the country. We are the only school that has it, and the students can propose experiments to do on this machine, and if they can justify it, the experiment can be run. Tech is a great place to come to because even though it's really hard and you'll have late night studying and you, you don't think you can get through it, in the end, it's totally worth it. And you just come out knowing so much material that's just really not paralleled by any other school. There's a variety of jobs that our students can look forward to, and those can include in government, for example, working for Department of Energy. It can also include laboratories. It can, of course, include industry. A lot of our undergraduates go to industry. Nuclear engineering graduates actually get one of the highest salaries out of all engineering, probably behind just petroleum. Nuclear engineering already sounds so specific, but you go in there and you realize there's even more things, so possibilities are really endless.